Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up SMS and email notifications on the Comset CM685VX 5G router. First, let's set up the SMS notifications. So from the status overview, we'll go to services and then down to SMS. Under the SMS command tab, check enable and SMS acknowledge. Down here, you can also see some commands that you can send to the router via SMS. This includes commands to reboot the router or to set the value on any of the digital ports. However, we won't be using these today, so go ahead and click save and apply. Next, we'll look at SMS alarm. Here, you can configure the device to send an SMS when certain conditions are met, such as the signal quality or a number of failures. We won't be using this in this video, so we'll just go to the next tab along, which is phone number. Here, we'll enable SMS command so that we can send commands to the router via SMS, such as reboot. We'll also check DIO change so that we can get notified of any changes. Next, we'll enter the phone number that we want to receive the notifications on. Here, we'll need to include the 61 area code for Australian phone numbers. You can add multiple phone numbers using groups, and you can configure each group using different settings. For example, perhaps there's a phone number where you want them to be notified of changes to the digital ports, but you don't want them to be able to send SMS commands. Okay, we'll hit save and apply. The next tab, SMS, contains a log of all of the SMSs received and sent from the device. And then DIO mail is used for email notifications. So we'll have a look at that later in the video. So next we're going to go to DIO default. Here we can see that the DIO ports are all set to output by default. This allows you to set their values via SMS. However, we want to receive notifications, so we'll need to change some of them to inputs. In this case, let's set DIO 0 and 1 to inputs. If we scroll down, you can see that the status of all of the ports is 0. This is because they were all outputs. If we hit save and apply, and scroll back down, we can see that ports 0 and 1 are now set to 1, which is the default value for input ports. To test this configuration, we can short DIO 0 to ground to force the value to go to 0. To do this, I've connected one side of a jumper wire to DIO 0, and then I'm going to connect the other side to ground. Make sure it's the ground closer to the digital ports and not the one closest to VCC. So the one here on the left. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then if we go back to the screen and refresh the page, we should see that DO0 has changed to zero, while DO1 has stayed at one. If I bring up the mirror image of my phone, we should receive an SMS soon telling us that the status has been changed. Here we go. It says that DIO 0 is changed from 1 to 0, which is exactly what we expected. If I then remove the short connection on DIO 0 and then refresh the page again, we can see that the status has been changed back to 1 and we'll receive another SMS telling us that this has happened. There, DIO 0 is changed from 0 to 1. If we go back to the web interface, we can also set custom messages for the SMS notifications. To do this, go to DIO SMS and tick Enable Self-Defined DIO SMS Alarm. This brings up some text boxes, which allows you to set custom messages for each digital port, whether it's changing from low to high or high to low. Okay, so now that we've set up the SMS notifications and confirmed that it's working, we can look at the configuration for email notifications. Starting from the status overview page, we'll go down to services and then SMS again, but this time we're going to go to the DIO mail tab. Tick enable and then fill out the settings based on your email. So I'm going to fill out the SMTP server 
which you can find under your email settings, the port number and the username of my account. You'll also need to fill out the username and password of the account that you want the emails to be sent from. For this example, I'm going to give DIO0 the name of gate1, and when this port is high, we'll say that the gate is closed, and when it's low, then the gate will be open. Next, we have to configure the receiver. So enter a group name, I'm just going to call this one test, and then press add. Then if we scroll back down and check DIO change to enable it, and then enter the email that we want to receive the notifications. Then click save and apply. Now we can test the email notification using the same method as the SMS. So I'll connect DIO zero to ground so that it forces the value to low. Then we'll go to DIO default so that we can see that the value is zero. You can also see that I've left DIO 0 and 1 as inputs from the SMS configuration. If you haven't done this, you need to make sure that the port you want to receive notifications from has been set as an input. I'll then remove the short from DIO 0 and open up my email. And now you can see that we've got two emails. The first one shows that the gate has gone from closed to open or from 1 to 0. And the second email shows that the gate has gone from open to closed. That's it, we've now successfully configured SMS and email notifications on the CM685VX router. Thanks for watching.